everyone, I'm Sri, and we are back with simple, tasty, and healthy Indian recipes. So today what we're gonna do is I am going to dispel the myth that Indian food is complicated to make, because it absolutely doesn't have to be. We're gonna make my signature chicken curry, which is a recipe that you can find in my new book, Bollywood Kitchen, which is available on sale now. We're gonna start with about two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I'm gonna season this with about a teaspoon of turmeric. So I have my pan here on medium-high heat. I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon of canola oil. You can use canola or vegetable oil, any oil that has a high smoke point. And then I'm gonna drop in the chicken thighs in a single layer so they can get some nice brown color on them. You basically wanna leave these untouched for about three minutes on the first side until they naturally release from the pan. If you try to move them and they're still stuck, then you know that they're not quite done yet. So just give it another minute. Okay, now that the chicken has had a chance to brown nicely, I'm just gonna remove it to a bowl. So into the same pan, we are going to throw a couple of bay leaves. So I'm gonna go in with um, one large onion that I've chopped here, and we're gonna saute this in the hot oil. Now this is a really important step for any chicken curry, because this is how you develop your base of flavor. You don't wanna skimp on this step, you definitely wanna take your time. I'm gonna saute these onions for about five to seven minutes until they get some nice, dark golden brown color on them. Now, as you can see here, the onions have gotten some nice color on them. So we're ready to move on to step two. So I'm going in with some minced garlic and some minced ginger. It's about two tablespoons of garlic and about a heaping tablespoon of ginger. And then to that, I'm gonna add in the cinnamon and clove. It's about three quarters of a teaspoon of each cinnamon and clove. Then I'm gonna take um, my ground coriander. This is about half a tablespoon of ground coriander. We're gonna add the red chili pepper or cayenne if you don't have red chili pepper. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon and then our salt. It's about a teaspoon and a half of salt. And so you're going to saute those spices in the hot oil and the onion, and this is really gonna wake them up, bring them alive. If you could smell it in here, um, it smells amazing. We're ready for the final step of our chicken curry. We're adding in the chicken. These are those browned, boneless, skinless chicken thighs. And I'm stirring it all together to coat the chicken in that beautiful onion spicy mixture. And you guys, that's essentially it when it comes to any Indian curry. It's three steps. One, saute your onions. Two, add in your spices. And then three, add in your main ingredient. In this case, it's chicken, but we could have also been using lamb or mutton. We could be using uh, vegetables as well with a slightly different masala or spice blend. And now that we've gotten that chicken nice and coated in the spicy onion mixture, I'm just going to cover it and we're gonna let it simmer um, on a medium heat for about 15 minutes and then we're gonna check on it again. Wow, so take a look at that. As you can see, the chicken has released a lot of its juices. It now has that wonderful gravy, which is what we call a curry in Indian cooking. I'm gonna add some coconut powder. And coconut powder is basically unsweetened coconut flakes that you can find in your grocery store that I've put in a spice mill and turned into a coarse powder. I'm gonna add about um, two tablespoons of this coconut powder. Now, if you don't have coconut, you could also finish this with about two tablespoons of plain yogurt. We're going to top it off with a little bit of chopped cilantro, and this adds you know, some bright freshness, some nice green color. All right, so I have a plate of basmati rice here, and we are just going to serve this warm, delicious chicken curry right over it. Garnish with a little bit of chopped cilantro, um, a nice lemon wedge, and there you have it. This is three signature chicken, the recipe for which you can find in my book, Bollywood Kitchen, which is on sale now. Follow us, Sling TV, they see, and me at New York 3 on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more content like this. We'll see you next time.